Today we are going to take a look at a CPU cooler from Deepcool and this is the Captain 240 RGB EX. So basically uh, Deepcool is basically one of the most underrated companies right now. I've used their uh, uh, PC cases, I've used some of their coolers as well and they are quite underrated. And this is one of the latest product right now and they, I know they have the same cooler in white and in red but this is the latest one they have right now this is the RGB version so basically there's nothing much to it um, they've included the RGB functionality and they've included and uh, an RGB LED strip with this so which integrates with the here we go which integrates with the lighting effect on the CPU cooler as well so one thing I've noticed is um, that they showed that you have the rainbow effect over here uh, that actually is not a feature right now uh, this can only have one individual color at a time and I'll show that once I've installed it on my computer over here now this is running uh, a 4790k CPU so basically I'm going to remove that uh, old uh, thermal tape cooler and I'm going, I'm going to replace that with the deep cool Captain 240EX and I've, as you can see I've already unboxed the cooler and uh, it comes with every single uh, mounting bracket that is for all Intel and AMD CPUs as you can see on the back at the bottom over here it comes with the bra mounting brackets for all the LGA series for Intel and also it includes the uh, CPU bracket for the Ryzen uh, CPUs as well. So I know in the beginning when Ryzen initially came out there was a lot of trouble finding the right brackets for the CPU coolers but thank god it includes that as well. That being said let's put the box aside and let's see what else we have with the CPU over here. As you can see this is the CPU block itself. I love their design. This gives a really unique look in anybody's CPU. And apart from that, we have the cooler itself over here, the heat dissipation unit. And with this, you get two fans. Pretty decent, but uh, you can also replace this with some other fans. If you have LED fans, uh, you can replace that as well. And you can, it also comes with this fan hub. So you can plug in, if you have any LED fans, you can plug those in here. Or uh, if you have, if you want, you can use the existing fans as well. And of course, as I showed you guys earlier, we have, it comes with an LED strip as well that integrates with the lighting of the CPU. Apart from that, just the regular stuff, all the mounting brackets, for, uh, uh, this is for Intel uh, CPUs and uh, we have this one over here for all the AMD CPUs mounting brackets. That being said, uh, let's put all these aside and let's plug the CPU in my PC. Okay, I'm about to install it on my PC. The first thing you have to do is identify what CPU socket you have. I currently have an LGA 1150, so I'll be using this one but I'll be using on this side because this one on the Conway it says 115x uh, basically it indicates if it's, you have an 1151 or 1150 since it's 4790k this is an 1150 uh, socket so what I'll do is I'll put it on the back of my motherboard you see those four holes this one, this one, that one, that one so it's gonna go in that and in the package you'll see these screws here come on focus there. So you have to put these screws through those holes and inside they'll be in the po in the bag that has all the accessories for the Intel CPUs. You'll see a nut like this. This is a bigger one. And there's a smaller one. And the smaller one has like a small uh, gap between the rigid line between the lines. It'll be like that. So this is a smaller one. This is the bigger one, so once I put my back plate over here,
ಅಂದರೆ okay i've screwed them in the bigger nuts as you can see over here the next thing is install these long plates they have included so install these like uh, this way there will be two of them come on get in that and here's another one put them both at the same time okay once this is done remember those smaller ones over these ones these would go on top of them and don't apply too much pressure on the nuts as oops don't apply too much pressure uh, just whatever pressure you have with your just apply the just a similar amount of pressure with your fingers and that's it don't apply too much pressure because you have a risk of cracking your motherboard and you don't want that right let's finish this up and see what the next step is the next thing i'm going to do is uh, attach the fans to the radiator so i'm gonna keep the wire on this side because it'll be easier for me to cable management at the end when i plug all these into the motherboard so in the bag you'll see uh, this one it says it's captain uh, what is it 240 so in this bag you'll find screws like these so this this is what you use to screw the fans in all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to screw all these screws and i'll be back soon all right the fans have been attached the fans have been attached and I've attached the CPU block uh, on top over here so let's do that and we'll be right back all right guys here's what has happened so far so I've attached the watt block onto the CPU with these screws on top and bottom over here I've also attached the radiator on the top let me show you guys and I've uh, screwed the screws over here here at the end at the corners over here and the only other thing left right now is plugging all the cables in for now I don't know if you can see it here uh, I have plugged the CPU cable right here and the only other thing left on the CPU the cables that are coming out of the CPU block is to plug the LED thing over here so basically with this you can control what different lights you want and all that so this part over here plugs into the water block over here I mean uh, the this thing or I don't know what it's called 
it's skipping my mind right now but oh, you plug that in what I'm gonna do right now is uh, route this to the back I'm gonna attach this to the setup setup port and I'm also going to attach this thing over here which is basically the fan hub over here you can plug an LED fan and these are just for regular fans so let's do that all right folks this is the back of my PC I know it's a mess right now uh, I don't usually cable management on my test pieces because I am changing stuff uh, all the time so what I have done right now over here is basically there are two things you need to do one you have to attach the USB f uh, I mean the fan hub so all you need to do is with this part there is a wire that comes out you have to attach this wire on the front of your motherboard into an any uh, a fan socket it'll be like a four uh, like protruding metal things that, that are coming out you just plug that in and you're all good once you do that remember the two fans we attached on the radiator these are those cables so I've attached those cables in this fan hub now that's all you need to do for the fans to spin on the radiator uh, apart from that now the other thing is the LEDs now this thing over here is the the thing that controls your LED on the CPU block and the LED strip that was included with the uh, with the, uh, the CPU cooler so it has a uh, two attachments so one's over here now this I have attached to the LED strip and another one over here and this uh, this was the one that was coming out of the CPU block so once you attach these two and there's another end over here that actually goes into a SATA port which I have plugged over here so once you do that uh, you're all set basically once uh, what I'll do is I'll route this LED strip in the front and it has uh, magnets over here so it'll stick to any metal surface uh, well I guess yeah like that on the top over here so I'll do this in the front and we'll turn the PC on and see how it works Alright folks, it's all set. I've plugged the computer in, turned it on. You can see the green light at the bottom. About to press the power button. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Ooh, nice. Those were the LEDs on top and as you can see that the, the block is blinking in sync with the LEDs as well. So, seems like it's working. Alright. Now the one thing I notice is the only way to change the LEDs is from the back. Uh, there's a switch that allows you to change the LED colors and whatnot. So basically you have to, op whenever you want to change the LED colors, you have to open the back and uh, change the LEDs that way, change the color of the LEDs that way. So let's see, let's go to the back and uh, let's see if you can uh, change some, change this to some different colors. Alright, where did I put my switch here? There it is. Alright, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, I think it's yellow now. Oh, this is purple. Oh, this is cyan. You know what, let me actually put the camera in the front so it will be easier for you guys to see. Now currently it's in white. There you go, my favorite red. So there are three buttons in here. So the middle button basically sets the brightness and the top button allows you to change the colors. 
I don't know what the last button does. Yeah, I'm not sure what the top button does. I mean the bottom button is. So this is the blinking effect. This is yellow, just stable. If you click once, it blinks. If you click again, it changes the light. This is purple, purple and blinking, sign and blinking, white and blinking, red. Oh, okay, now we go. So basically the bottom one changes the colors, changes the pattern basically. So let me press that again. Now oh, this is faster. Slower. Even slower. So I'm just gonna leave it at constant colors for now. I'm just going to leave it at green. So, as you can see, it's working. The annoying part is that you have to uh, keep changing. You have to keep opening your case to change the lights if you're not satisfied with one color. But apart from that, uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty sure the numbers, the it goes the CPU pretty well as well. And uh, I'll leave that in the description. Uh, if uh, if there's any change, if there's any nothing wrong with the temperatures as well. Uh, but apart from that, uh, thumbs up to Deepcool. This is a great product. I'll be using it for a very long period of time. Uh, no complaints except for the switch being on the back of the case. Uh, installation process was easy. There was no, uh, there was nothing uh, very complicated. And uh, yeah. This is an excellent product, a uh, huge thumbs up to Deepcool for this product and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, like this video if you like it and you guys have a wonderful day, bye bye.